Hey everyone, my name is Andre and welcome to Hunt, Kill, Cook. In this video, we're going to do a one year review of the tethered Eberhardt Signature Saddle Kit. We're gonna cover the good and the bad and see how it held up. Check it out. In this video, we're going to cover three categories, durability, comfort, and ease of use. I purchased this kit to use during the 2021 hunting season. And now that the 2022 hunting season is nearly done, I've had this out on a little over 40 hunts. It's been in the rain, it's been in the cold, it's been in the heat. It's seen just about everything Central Ohio has to offer. I've never washed it and I've always kept it in my hunting bag when I'm not using it. First, let's take a look at the saddle itself. Uh, you can hardly tell that it's been used. Um, you can see in a couple spots that the stitching, uh, the tags on the stitches uh, have pulled out and frayed a little bit, but overall the stitching is in uh, really good shape. Uh, the netting and strap material they used is, is great and the hardware uh, is still basically brand new. You can hardly tell, no signs of wear at all. Okay, on the lineman belt, there is uh, some minor frays uh, which is to be expected because this takes most of the brunt of climbing up and down the tree as it's sliding on the bark. Um, but overall, there's no major snags uh, or tears or nicks. It's just um, a little fuzzy uh, from that bark. Moving on to the Prusik knot. This, however, is not great. Uh, the Prusik knot, uh, it works by design um, and, and it's fine in a, in a pinch, but it's uh, less than ideal, let's just say. Um, and in a video where I climbed a uh, really gnarly tree, it turned out to be a sappy pine, uh, some sap got on the Prusik knot and that made it even worse to operate. Um, so yeah, I haven't replaced it just because it hasn't been uh, such a pain, but now that the sap's on there and I don't wanna have to clean it off and deal with all of that kind of stuff, I think I'm gonna uh, replace this with a Ropeman Ascender. Okay, the tether, it's basically new. Uh, there's, there's no fraying or snagging whatsoever going on there. It held up really good. Uh, but this is where a Ropeman Ascender is absolutely vital. If you're still using a Prusik knot here, stop, don't. Because it is uh, so important to be able to pull this up and down the rope uh, with just one hand. Um, it's really convenient. Uh, instead of using two hands to operate the Prusik, uh, you really only need one. Okay, with the carabiners, there's not much to say here. Uh, they're basically in new condition. Uh, they work great, they're strong and durable. For durability, I give the Eberhardt Signature Saddle a nine out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 if except if it wasn't for the minor fraying on the lineman belt, um, but it's not really fair because it does take a brunt of the abuse, but this is our review, so nine out of 10. Now let's move on to comfort. I really like the two panel system. You can see there's a, an inner panel and an outer panel. <clears throat> so you can make it wider or narrower based on your comfort, um, or you can move one of the panels further up your back. I really like that. It makes it pretty comfortable. That being said, the saddle does take some getting used to and some experimentation to make it fit you. When I first got the saddle, I set this bridge to right at 18 inches via the vendor specifications, and uh, I just left it. At that length, it made my hips hurt uh, after about two hours, and uh, I just thought it was the nature of the saddle and that I just needed to be a man and suck it up. Well, one day when I was bored, uh, not seeing any deer at the, at the moment, uh, I decided to fiddle around with it and I lengthened just by two or three inches the bridge and that made a world of difference. It became immediately significantly more comfortable. I know it may seem obvious, but increasing the bridge length or messing around with your tether length really can increase the comfortability of your saddle. Don't be a meathead like me and just deal with it. If your saddle's uncomfortable, fix it. One more thing on comfortability, do yourself a favor and get some knee pads. Uh, sitting up against the tree is really uncomfortable and hard on your knees, but these knee pads make it really bearable. It's almost like you're sitting in a comfy armchair, maybe a lazy boy, as I know some are so fond of. For comfort, I give this saddle an eight out of 10. When I was toughing it out, 
it would have been a five out of 10. Uh, so that really goes to show you how much uh, modifying and making sure that it's comfortable for you does make a difference. Finally, let's talk about ease of use. Compared to tree stands, which I know some people still prefer, I believe that the saddle is far and away the better option. You only have to buy one of them instead of multiple tree stands when you wanna hunt multiple spots. And if you're walking into the woods or in a large tract of land like public land, you can find some hot sign and set up on it. Now let me show you one issue that I do have with the two panel setup. I usually wear the saddle in the woods with me. In a video, I saw John Eberhardt explain how he tucks one panel up underneath the other one, cinches it tight, and puts the bridge in the waist belt. This works pretty good, but when I have the leg straps connected, the lower panel doesn't stay put, which is annoying when hiking into my spot in the dark. There's a lot of folding and tucking that you could do to make this better, but if you have a long way to walk, it might be better just to stuff it in your pack. For ease of use, I'd give this saddle kit an eight out of 10. If it wasn't for the annoyance of trying to keep it around your waist, I'd give it a 10. Overall, the Eberhardt Signature Saddle Kit from Tethered is a great tool to improve your hunting. I'm really glad I chose the two panel system. Over the last 40 years, John Eberhardt designed and prototyped and built this saddle uh, and has attributed his success, at least in part, to this saddle system. So it's kind of hard to argue with that. Tethered has done a really great job manufacturing and I think this saddle will last me for many more seasons. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Uh, we've seen a lot of you guys' comments and we really appreciate that. Uh, so we're pretty active on there. So if you have anything to add to this or want to talk about your hunting saddle setup or uh, anything that you've used that helped you, uh, go ahead and put it in there and uh, we'll maybe feature you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Is he a cartel member? Battery is this. I can't say use the S in lineman's belt. I have to say lineman belt. Someone corrected us in the comments. I appreciate that. Mike is his name. So thanks, Mike. I see other single paddle sandals. <clears throat> We're loving talking to you uh, and interacting with you and learning more about you and wanting to be with you. Gassy. Now get outside and hunt!